Jim Sapphire channel. Please subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram, Jim Sapphire. So check it out. My little, my new little friend. Isn't he so cute? And look at the little surprise inside. He can actually hold lipsticks. So this will be going into my purse. Okay, so uh, uh, no more distractions. This video is about my March ins and outs. So first of all, I, I like to start with skincare. So an out is by Embrolisse. They're um, La Creme Concentre. I mean, on the packaging it says it's a moisturizer, a makeup primer, and a moisturizing mask. I would say it's just a moisturizer. It didn't really, I didn't see any big difference when I tried to use it as a primer. So I don't see the, I don't understand the hype about it. So, so I would say it's a moisturizer, sure, but there's a lot of moisturizers out there that you can use and a lot of other primers. So an out for this one. In terms of an actual in, when I went to the IMAX show, one of the booths was the London Brush Company. This is an in. I like this lip brush. I mean, for all of you who use lipstick tubes, you know how hard it is when you're trying to get to the very edges of your lips and then without smudging the sides. So this is where this comes in handy. You're able to like move the lipstick a little bit to the edges so you don't make a mess out of what you've put on your face already. So I would recommend this makeup brush. And out is Nature Republic, their lipstick in number one. I like this nude color, but the formulation is dry, so I, I really can't recommend this. In, in terms of a, a lip product that is actually moisturizing, it's from, by Laneige. Their two-tone lipstick, I got it in number four, Milk Blurring. So. So you can see the top part is the uh, the lipstick and the bottom part is the balm. So it makes for a, a softer, natural look on your lips. I actually do like the formulation. What I don't like is the, the packaging. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's basically the, the, the cheap toy plastic that they use for kids. I, I dropped this one time. I, I seriously thought it was going to crack. So, I mean, for $30, I, I just wish the packaging was a little bit better. So in terms of eyeliners, uh, I would definitely want to recommend as an in, it's by Kat Von D, her ink liners. I have it in Dolly, which is a teal color. And her other color, which is a dark blue, is bottom layer. I mean it's a, it's a felt tip and it just makes a very clean crisp line. So I also um, put a swatch there of Dolly and bottom layer. So these are an in. And then from Makeup Geek, I purchased their blush in Valentine. I remember I was skeptical at first because, you know, my complexion or skin tone is a little bit towards the tan side and this looked light, but actually it's a very pretty color. It's a very pretty natural color, so I would, I would recommend this blush in Valentine by Makeup, for, Makeup Geek. They sell it both in a small compact and the refill. I, I tend to go for the refills and just put them in my own palettes. You know, it's cheaper and, you know, then you're not carrying a whole bunch of packages. And then my last um, item for the month of March is by Viseart, their Petit, Petit Pro Eyeshadow Palette. It comes in this little sleeve. You take it out and you pull this open. It actually comes with a mirror because their bigger palettes have no mirror, so I do appreciate that. And 
I, yeah, this is a definite end. Uh, more than once I've had to get to get together, so I just get together quickly. I think that came out right. <laughs> okay. And I just drew this in my purse, and right before an event in my car, I, I, I was able to do a look with this palette. I mean, you get, um, what do you call it, matte colors, metallic colors, shimmery colors. Um, the colors don't have names, but I would say this top color, it, it's good for the, the brow, and lightening the brow, and also in the inner corner. For transition, I use the color next to it, and, or the, the very color at the very end. And then all the other colors are just good colors for the lid, because, um, you know, I'll bring it up closer. I really like all the metallic shimmery colors, they're very pretty. And this yard, you know, the formula, I mean, it has the same formulation as the big palettes. So I would say if you want a palette that's um, for on the go, definitely I would recommend this. Or if, if you just want to simply try the formulations before you pay the big price tag for the big palette, then definitely try this smaller one. So those are my uh, recommendations for the month of March. I hope you enjoyed them, and I'll see you next time.